going to sing the ABCs. A, B, D, L, B, O, B, O, T, N, I, M, I, A. That's not how it goes. Can you please stop disturbing me? <clears throat> A, B, D, L, B, O, B, O, T, N, I, M, I, A. I said that's not how it goes. For disturbing me, I'll have to explode you. Now I can sing my A, B, L, B, O, B, O, T, N, I, M, I, A song in peace. Hey, welcome to our scene on a beta lipoproteinemia, represented by this guy over here, who loves to sing the ABCs, but messes up, and says instead, a beta lipoproteinemia. So in this video, we're going to talk about the pathophysiology of a beta lipoproteinemia, the symptoms involved, and the treatment. So let's talk about what's going on in the scene over here. So here's this kid on the floor singing about singing the ABCs. It's coming out as a beta lipoproteinemia. And this ape B over here, it's in half ape, half B, is getting very annoyed, and thus he explodes him. What does that mean? Well, this guy over here is going to represent the MTP gene. MTP gene is the mutated gene in A-beta-lipoproteinemia. Maybe his name is Matthew Thomas Peterson, I'm not sure. But the only important thing for us is MTP. The mutated gene in A-beta-lipoproteinemia is the MTP gene. This is a gene involved in assembly and secretion of apolipoprotein B-containing lipoproteins. There will be a deficiency in ApoB lipoproteins, represented by the ApoB exploding. Thus, there will be a deficiency in ApoB48 and ApoB100. So what's the problem? What happens if we don't have ApoB48 or ApoB100? Let's take a look over here. We know on the floor over here, these are his toys. These are his toys that he put on the floor. The fact that they're on the floor is going to help us remember deficiency. So we see a cold microphone over here. This microphone is kind of cold, right? It's cold. Cold microphone for chylomicrons. As chylomicrons will be deficient without ApoB48, as well as VLDLs represented by the volleyball doll, and the ladle representing LDL. So again, cold microphone for chylomicrons, volleyball doll for VLDLs, and later for LDL. All of these will be deficient due to the inability of the body to produce ApoB48 and ApoB100. So that's the pathophysiology of A-beta lipoproteinemia. What are the symptoms involved? We'll start with the earlier symptoms and then we'll discuss the later symptoms. The earlier symptoms are represented by what's going on in this urine all over here in the room. So here we have a toilet with some oily stool in it to help us remember the steatorrhea. Of course, since the body cannot form chylomicrons, there will be a severe fat malabsorption, leading to steatorrhea. We also notice the grave, as this is associated with an inability to thrive. And we also notice this ant over here on top of the urinal, with lips in him. Ant for enterocytes, and lips for lipid-laden, the lipid-laden enterocytes. Lipid-laden enterocytes will seen on biopsy due to the fat remaining stuck in enterocytes. Now let's discuss the later symptoms, represented by this taxi flying over the scene. I don't know if this is a dream, I don't know if this is really happening, all I know is that this is going to help us remember the later symptoms in A-beta lipoproteinemia. The taxi is to help us remember the progressive ataxia. Due to the vitamin E deficiency, since the body cannot absorb fats, it cannot absorb the fat-soluble vitamins, including vitamin E. So there'll be a vitamin E deficiency and leading to neurological problems, including progressive ataxia as well as spinocerebellar degeneration, represented by the spine over here in the cerebellum, for spinocerebellar. Spinocerebellar degeneration is also due to vitamin E deficiency. There will also be a canthocytosis, represented by this toe inside the can. Can toe for a canthocytosis, which, pre which presents with an abnormal red cell phenotype. We also note this eye with the colors coming out of it. To help us remember, retinitis pigmentosa. This is due to the vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin A is fat soluble, and this inability to absorb fat will lead to a vitamin A deficiency. Now, just a word on treatment. Since vitamin E will be deficient, the patient's going to need large doses of vitamin E, represented by this very long eel here on top of the scene. To help us remember the large doses of oral vitamin E that are required. Of course, the patient will have to restrict long chain fatty acids in the diet. Okay, that's our scene on A beta lipoproteinemia. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel. Ask me questions if you need. Take care.